I just got back from the Homesteaders of America conference in Warrington, Virginia. And it was a fun weekend. I took a road trip. I went by myself because because Lorraine and Penelope are out west, out visiting family. Love you, Penelope. I think the whole weekend I was like this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I mean, like, the whole drive down there, I never really drove through Virginia. And beautiful, beautiful state. I kind of love it, actually. <laughs> Just the, going through like the little towns and just kind of sightseeing and just seeing like, you're starting to see those fall colors and it's really beautiful drive. I had a booth there. I was selling a lot of my handmade goods that I do, some like my woodworking and really just hanging out, uh, being a part of that event. This was the first year that they did that and it was a good weekend. I mean, since I was there with my booth, I mean, I was talking to people. I really didn't film anything. Well, I filmed a little bit of my trip. Today is Virginia Day to the Homesteaders Conference, and uh, it's gonna be an adventure this weekend. That house is where I'm staying for the weekend. My Airbnb, built in the 1826. It's pretty neat to be in this area, to be in Virginia. I never thought I would be in Virginia <laughs> at a homesteaders conference, staying in a 1826 home. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> All right, I'm at the Homesteaders Conference. Everyone's here super early, trying to set up. It was pretty awesome just to um, be a part of that community. Then there were other homesteading YouTube families there, such as White House on the Hill Homestead. They have a YouTube channel. Really nice family and we hung out for a bit. We had a little Q&A uh, session going on. Hey guys, we are here with Sow the Land also known as Jason. Just kind of asking me some questions. I will put a link down in the show notes of that video and also check out uh, their channel, White House on the Hill. They're a homesteading family, like really, really great family. It was well worth it, me driving down there to Virginia, um, just meeting other homesteaders, uh, just hanging out, having a booth, talking to people, just being a part of that event. But I just want to say, Ever since we moved here and we chose to change our life, this whole process has been way out of my comfort zone. Everything about it has been kind of difficult for me to do things. I don't know if I portray that in these videos, but sometimes it's hard for me to talk to people. Since moving here, I've grown so much on not being afraid to talk to people, and I still struggle with it. I really do. I'm just trying to change my mind change my way of thinking to be out of my comfort zone to not be afraid just to go up to people and introduce myself talk to people that i don't don't know two years ago i never do that but since choosing this life from day one it has been way out of our comfort zone 
and I try to remember that. If something comes up, an opportunity comes up, right away I think like I might feel too awkward, it, it might make me feel uncomfortable, but then I think, you know, this whole life that we're living now has been uncomfortable. And I might as well keep the ball rolling. <laughs> let's keep that uncomfortableness going and let's see what happens. And next thing you know, I'm going to Virginia, I'm meeting new people, making new friends. Uh, it has been incredible. <laughs> um, I don't know, I just wanted to share that. What I was thinking the whole weekend and everyone that came up to me at that booth at that homesteaders conference and talked to me, introduced themselves to me, shook my hand, said hello, thank you. I appreciate it very much. But I appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like a breeze. Country road, take me.